basically we had just the idea that uh, we wanted to produce something that uh, created water from nothing really. We are using a thermoelectric Peltier device which are used in dehumidifiers. The energy produced is taken from the solar panels and that powers the whole thing basically. Yeah. But it charges up the batteries first. The Peltier is lodged in between this, the two heat sinks here. But, and the Peltier has a hot side and cold side. And we use the cold side to get the condensation from the air, which funnels down to this, down in through here, and it's yeah. a platypus bag, so you can just drink it. And uh, the heat sink takes the heat away from the Peltier's hot side, so it does overheat. When it's running fully, it should produce water about a litre or two in about four or five hours. Ashling, what is iResponder? iResponder is an application for mobile phones which improves first response times by up to 10 times. So what it does is it sends the GPS locations of a casualty to pre-programmed first responder numbers and in that way it will help people to find their casualties within record time really. How did you come across the idea because I mean everybody hopes if they ever need an uh, emergency service that they'll be found when they're needed um, but you have a bit of a story behind it don't you? I do. In 2014 a professor in the University of Limerick had a brain hemorrhage and if it wasn't for my dad who knew some first aid he would have died and it took paramedics 25 minutes to find him on the University of Limerick campus which isn't adequate so what I did was I put together this application and it drastically reduced the response times. We did an experiment where we tested the app and didn't test the app so so when we didn't have the application, it took first responders 11 minutes to find someone who's had, say, cardiac arrest. When you have cardiac arrest, you only have three minutes to live. So when we didn't, when we did use the application, it only took first responders 43 seconds to find this person. So guys, um, this red door is very enticing, but something crazy happens when you touch the handle. What is this for? What, what's the idea behind this? It's to give people peace of mind when they're in their homes. It's alerts people when there's a presence coming up towards their house to just warn them. There's a thermal right behind the door which is mounted and has an electromagnetic field around it. And as a human it has capacitance which is the ability to hold a charge which interrupts with the frequency on the antenna which produces the sound. And what kind of applications do you see this being used for? Uh, we can also use it as an anti loitering device because uh, with the pitch antenna you can change it so it is constantly making noise which could uh, ward off unwanted visitors and also it can be used in Alzheimer units. The idea of an animal or a child being left in a car is you know, reprehensible to most people uh, but you know, your technology is there to prevent this from happening. How, how do you, how do you uh, propose to do this? Um, we decided to make um, a experimental circuit to prevent the cabin temperature from rising inside a parked car. So when the inside of the car reaches 25 degrees Celsius, the circuit will activate the fans to turn on to cool down the car to a temperature that is safe and comfortable. We had to research a lot of different components because we were only beginners when we were starting out. So we had to learn a lot of skills like how to read circuit diagrams and relate components to where they should be on an actual circuit board.